guys, how are we? And I hope everybody is well. As you can see, I'm down at Ibiza Airport and today I'm taking a flight back to the UK. It will be the first time I've been there in 18 months, so pretty excited about that. We are halfway through November and we do still have direct flights from Ibiza back to the UK. So that's what today's vlog is going to be about. But before I go into full on new vlog mode, once I get inside, I'm going to give you a quick recap of what has been happening in the last month in Ibiza because the summer and October in particular has turned out to be a very good one. Okay, that's check-in done, fairly straightforward. You just needed your passport, obviously. You also needed your passenger locator form, and then you also needed your proof of vaccination certificate. Um, but once you have that, it's pretty straightforward. So anyway, yeah, as I was saying, um, October was quite busy here in Ibiza. And I think the reason for that was a combination of things. Um, firstly, it was good weather. Then we had the restrictions that were eased. Um, we also had some of the big clubs opening which helped and the clubs who did decide to open and brave it you had Eden who opened first and they had DJs such as Roger Sanchez and Paul Taylor headlining um, that was quite successful that they even stayed open for a couple of dates in November you then had Amnesia who opened they opened on the Friday night and had their closing party on the Saturday so that would have been a pretty unique experience and then you also had DC10 and they opened for three consecutive Mondays and they opened from five o'clock in the afternoon until late or early, depending on whichever way you look at it. Through security and that was pretty straightforward. Um, I do have about an hour and a half time to kill. So I'm going to head into here. It's the VIP lounge in Ibiza airport. I've never actually been here before. Um, when looking online, it says that it does cost 36 euros per person to go in there. But I have, um, I'm part of a, it's called the Priority Pass, which I'll explain a little bit later. And it works out to be a lot cheaper than that. So I'm gonna give that one a try. Okay, this is the VIP lounge at Ibiza Airport. Um, as I say, it's the first time I've been here. It's usually 36 euros if you was to book it online, but um, I'm part of a, as a subscription. You pay an annual subscription to a company called Priority Pass, and it works out that each time you come into one of the lounges, it works out 20 pound, and you can also add another guest for 20 pound as well. So it's well worth it if you're gonna come, have a few beers, have some food, and by the time you've gone to the other restaurants in the airport, you can easily spend 20 pound anyway. So yeah, I do recommend doing that. Okay, let me go grab some food and I'll give you a tour of the VIP lounge. Usually it is self-service, but because of we're in COVID times, then um, there is somebody there serving you. you. Just tell them what they want and they will get you anything. Um, I have gone for starters. I have a little bit of ham on and salchicho and then some kind of fish curry, an Australia, and then that's not such a bad view. So the route that I'm taking today is from Ibiza Airport to London City. I've never flown into London City Airport before, so I am looking forward to that. Um, it is the only direct flight from Ibiza to the UK in the winter months. Um, and it's a shame that there are no direct flights to the north of England because once I land in London, I have a bit of a mission getting up on the train to Grimsby. But anyway, I'm looking forward to that adventure. But it's a shame that no other airlines do put flights on because I am sure there would be some demand for it. So Jet2, EasyJet, Ryanair, if you are listening, please put on some flights. Um, guys, if you think that'd be a good idea and uh, if, you, if you take advantage of some direct winter flights from UK to Ibiza, please hit the like button. 
Okay, I'm gonna have my coffee and then we have about half an hour before boarding. see the airport is very quiet there's only this one flight going out internationally the rest are going to um, other airports in Spain this flight it cost me 90 euros that was with a big suitcase so um, can't argue with that really um, the flight that we're taking the plane that we're on is a uh, British Airways it's an Embaer 190 which I've never actually heard of before um, but apparently there are no middle seats so it's just two seats either side of the aisle so you get a window seat or an aisle seat and I have a window seat so I'm hoping UK the weather's okay and I get some good shots as I'm coming into land at London City okay boarding time early that was a great flight great service uh, you had plenty of leg room uh, the staff were really good you even managed a snack free snack which I didn't realize um, so yeah the it was pretty cloudy coming back in I was hoping to get a better view quite a steep descent coming in um, but yeah we arrived 10 minutes on time which is great so now it's just customs to clear hoping all is okay um, with the passenger locator form and the vaccination passport fingers crossed Nope, that was super easy. Um, I was sat at the back of the plane, so I was literally first off the plane, first into the airport, and we're the only flight landing at the moment, so I was first through. All it was was just an easy passport check as normal. It's like I'm the only person in London City Airport at the moment. The airport cleared, very simple, very quick, uh, and now it's on to central London for me. I've just got to get this train. I missed it.
England style, it is raining, so, but it was in Ibiza, so I can't complain too much. Uh, so on that note, guys, I'm gonna leave the vlog there. I hope you have all enjoyed it. The main purpose of this vlog was to let you know that direct flights from England to Ibiza are still operating. Um, so if you get the chance, come and check out Ibiza in the winter time. And it would be interesting to know why people don't come to Ibiza in the winter. Is it because you don't think there's direct flights, you think it's too cold, or there's not a lot happening there? Please do let me know in the comments box below. So I'm back in the UK now for just over one week, and then when I return, I'm gonna get a connecting flight, and um, so I will hope to make another vlog about that route for you all. So please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It does help the channel grow a lot. Thanks once again, and see you next time.